It is really impressive for me to be back here. Uh, since last year, a lot of stuff happened. And first of all, I would love to thank the whole Hello Tomorrow team uh, for bringing me back here. And it's truly amazing and a big honor. And I would love to take this chance here right now, not to talk only about Lilium itself, but also what happened during the last year, and maybe give a bit, little bit of awareness what this brings uh, to all of you. So let's step back one year back to uh, one year back. I was standing here, same place, same location. And what I did uh, since then, or well, what we as a team did since then is pretty amazing. So many things changed except for my haircut. But um, last year, I was actually presenting you our answer uh, to the individual uh, on-demand transport problem to get a person from point A to point B. And I was showing this bad boy here, a two-seated, all-electric vertical takeoff and landing jet. Last year, I demonstrated or said in some years um, that you will fly from Charles de Gaulle to here. And this will be, not, will be not changed, but the whole business case behind it and what we want to do change completely. And bef before I give any details on that, I would love to give a short introduction why mobility and why individual on-demand transport. Transport in general is a three trillion plus industry. And recently Uber and especially Lyft demonstrated that on-demand on transportation um, is necessary and has incredible market opportunities. And I want to show you right now that it is absolutely normal to bring this on-demand transport up in the sky and that from now on, the question is not if we will have on-demand transport in the sky, but when. My name is Patrick. I'm one of the co-founders of Lilium Aviation. And this is our answer to the uh, urban mobility problem. A fully electric vertical takeoff and landing jet with five seats, an air taxi, and the first of its kind. We um, designed a completely new propulsion system, which allows for efficiency as well as for speed. During hover, you tilt down the propellers, you take off vertically like in helicopter, and then they're retracted back horizontally in order to engage cruise flight. With this technology, we are combining the efficiency of a helicopter, sorry, not the efficiency of a helicopter, but the flexibility of a helicopter with the efficiency of a business jet. And at the same time, we have a huge um, an, an advantage in terms of safety and simplicity. We have just one moving thing those flaps who are going up and down. This is everything. We control the whole airplane with this. And beyond that, due to an impressive uh, propulsion system, it is also extremely low on a really low noise emission level, which allows us also to start and land uh, in a city. As I will show you later, during the commercialization, we are able to drop the price down to be as cheap as a train. We are quiet as a fan. We can reach up to 300 kilometers per hour at a top range of 300 kilometers. We have nearly zero CO2 emissions, and we are very simple and thus extremely safe. In five years from now, I want all of you, when you arrive at Charles de Gaulle, that you take out your mobile phone, order a jet, and fly within five minutes here to Le, so uh, Le Son Quatre. Sorry, my French is not very good. And by doing so, you will tremendously um, uh, have advantages of your everyday, uh, uh, everyday mobility aspect. What we're doing by the whole commercialization over the whole world is that we drop the price so low that you will have, the, you, you pay the same price like for a taxi, but you have the tenfold of the time in the regions where you want to be. And we're doing this and assessing this for everybody. This is not something for the rich guys. I want to see a grandmother in the front seats and some students in the back who are flying to some lectures or something like this. And we are doing this by multiplying your daily action radius by the factor of 15. And all this is done by, a new, term, by a new terms of efficiency of an airplane which is extremely fast and extremely strong. But maybe let's get back once again uh, what happened actually after Hello Tomorrow, what happens ever since. What I will show you now is a video of my team who were celebrating during uh, the announcement that we won last year Harrow Tomorrow Finals. Yay. And people are thirsty, and some teams are having a lot of pressure right now. So, yes. you want to know who the winner is? I, 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 I know, know. who it is. But they want to know. You want to know. All right. So, the winner of this uh, 
Viewers competition is Lilia. Thanks. And you know what really was the truly amazing thing about this? It was the first time that a broad mass believed in us. Before that, we had years of denial. People who were telling us, you cannot do it, it doesn't work. Even a big um, aircraft manufacturer told us to stop immediately because when our future chef sees what we were spending our time on, we will never get a job again. And now these kinds of companies like this are popping up all over the world, and it's truly amazing to see what's happening in on-demand on -demand mobility uh, for the sky. Our first seed investor, Frank Thelen, um, actually said at the beginning when he invested in his seed run of 500,000 uh, euros, my head says no, but my heart says yes. And this is exactly what you need here. You need investors with this kind of mindset. And with these kinds of mindset, you create an avalanche effect with which you can create, get better investors who have the same mindset like you. And for us, it was during our Series A of, with Atomico, we were extremely great. With this money, we were finally able to build our airplane, our first full-scale prototype. And by the way, this is the one I was promising last year. So, promise kept, and we're using it all day uh, and test um, the promise performance um, yeah, that I told you last year. <laughs> and now, uh, this year, something truly amazing happened, and still we weren't able to completely uh, sink it in, but we were able to raise uh, another $90 million during our Series B. <laughs> but... This is uh, still absolutely unbelievable for us, but what I want to emphasize here right now is with big money comes big responsibility. And if you want to disrupt a whole industry, you don't only have um, to, to revolutionize a certain technology, you don't only have to commercialize this technology, but you have to incept the mindset of the people that they believe in you. And this is the one thing where we, where we are right now, because still people are calling us crazy. And for some reason, maybe it's true, but if you're not crazy, you won't disrupt the world. The funny thing about this whole investment now is um, we raised $90 million, but it's this compared to what we have to do. When you have a look at Elon Musk promised 12 years ago, he will have refuelable uh, rockets who come down, you refuel them, put them back into space. It takes time, of course. And, but you have to imagine a disruptive technology, and this is for everybody here in this room, this is absolutely important to know, to disrupt the world, it is a marathon with a lot of sprints inside, and these sprints get more intense and they come more often. So the only thing, <laughs> how you can basically translate these uh, $80 million is buckle down and work. And this is the only thing, or the only way how to do this is with a truly amazing team. Here, we are the four co-founders on the Oktoberfest <laughs> with our big wish up above us. And we, we, are, we are coming from completely different fields. But we were friends before we were founded and we grew together um, during the whole stressful and very intense time. And this makes us even stronger. And the most important thing is that when you, when you have a founding team uh, that you can truly believe on, you have to be completely aligned as well. The worst thing that any founding team can happen is that you have a team that is set up but you have four founders, for example, who go in completely different directions. One wants to go for a fast and completely unnecessary exit, the other one wants to disrupt the world, and the others, don't know, lunch. And the, the most important thing now is, if you can completely align your team with the founders there that you have, you will go in one direction and you can disrupt the world. The thing is, what the people don't tell you is that this wall of disruption here, pretty amazing, uh, I'm not a designer, sorry, um, that this wall of disruption um, is not standing behind you or next to you, it's standing on a big fucking mountain, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> and the important thing is that you pull up your team this mountain and your team is pushing you up there. I'm so proud of my team. 
uh, because they are doing actually all this kind of stuff, well, what we want to do. And when you're going higher and higher, at some point you will see this exit down there, and it's getting even smaller and more insignificant. And, it's, and at some point it's completely absolute. And when you reach this top of this mountain, there will be this wall of disruption. And this is the wall, uh, this consists of non-believers, naysayers, investors who don't like you, and there will be tons of, I promise you. And the only thing that you have to do now is to smash this wall down. And the only way how to do is, when you disrupt the world, you will always run against it. So take your hat, smash against it, smash against it, and it will hurt, literally. And at some point, you will fall down on your knees. There will be tears shed and everything, but it's to t totally okay. Because at some point, you will see a brick in the wall, and you will see something like this happening. So, and, and when you see the love of your life flying through the sky, then uh, you really recognize that it's all worth it, all the pain you have been going through, that it's completely worth it, and you don't listen to the naysayers, you just do it. And then you can just basically do one thing, get back up and rise and shine. Thank you very much.